So the first session then, the sourcing process. And by the end of this session, you'll be able to explain the sourcing process in relation to procurement. Compare the main approaches to the sourcing of requirements for suppliers and develop selection and award criteria that can be commonly applied when sourcing from external suppliers. And the content then will be looking at the sourcing process, terms used, the purchasing model and context that we can put purchasing into, looking whether that purchase is a strategic purchase or whether it is just simple tactical sourcing. Kralik's ma ma matrix, which explains and expands upon that. Pareto, which also helps us understand those areas, Pareto classification and inventory classification. So what do some of the terms mean that we're, we're using here then? Sourcing, defined by Lysons and Farringdon, the, uh, the core textbook for, the, uh, for the, uh, the module, says that it's the processes of identifying and selecting and developing suppliers. Sometimes called purchasing, it is the activities associated with establishing the nature of the commercial relationship between a seller and a buyer. Supply, sometimes called inbound logistics, is involved with the timing, quantity, and location of goods or services. And here we have it in a diagram. Um, the generic purchasing cycle. It's generic because it fits to most situations and we move from defining the need, specifying, working out exactly what it is that we want to obtain from these suppliers, developing contract terms, how we're going to do business, what we expect the supplier to, uh, to provide, and uh, what are our co-responsibilities, and sourcing the market identifying potential suppliers. Who could do this for us? Who can we choose from? To appraisal, to, to working out, well, okay, there are these suppliers who could do it for us. Which ones would be the best? And then we might invite a small number of suppliers to give us some quotations or, full, or go through a tender process to give us a price and how they feel they could go about it, and what they've got to offer. Through a process then of analysing the quotations and selecting the most promising supplier, or maybe bringing it down to a very small shortlist, and negotiating then for the best value. You notice that I didn't necessarily say the best price, but the best value. Awarding the contract, and then when the contract is being performed and the supplier is supplying you with this goods or service, monitoring how they are performing, which would suggest that we've set up some parameters that, that we can monitor them by. And then seeing whether we need to change it or develop it. And then we go back into the cycle again for another product or for another period of supply of that product. And purchasing takes place in different contexts. 